Deep down inside, sometimes on the surface, people of African descent believe that white people are Lucifer, demonic, or Satan. We, we've been saying it for years, the blue-eyed devil. Well, white people feel the same way about people like me, except they have the resources and facilities to play out that I'm Satan, Satanic, or Lucifer, like the hospital. Black people, we don't own shit. We don't run shit. And Lucifer's playing a deadly game on both sides. A tremendous, you know, that's what you fucked up with as Christians and you have lost faith. You keep losing focus that Lucifer is a master of deception and Jews are the chosen people. Do you understand that? And all Lucifer does all day long is play his game. Do you understand? But remember, African Americans, we're not in a position to lock people up and put our own judgment. White people can do whatever the fuck they want to do with me. That's how George Shulman, that's how Shulman felt about George Floyd with them handcuffs behind him. He was classified as satanic that day, or Lucifer as he jumped around high on crack, like he had no soul. Now I'm trapped to be in this fucking hospital room and they get a budge from the Justice Department because I'm deemed as Lucifer. And guess what? According to Cameron Downstairs and Elmont, I cannot get out of it unless, I, unless I'm a crackhead or understand that I'm a faggot. It's different than when you're in the psych ward where they say you're not allowed to leave until you admit you have schizophrenia and you're going to take medication after you leave. Out in the, as a civilian in Elmont, New York, and a Latino woman, school teacher who said, you cannot leave until you are a drug addict out of this house or a faggot until Bob and Nicole Williams showed up to find me in a bad shape days before I was sent here by EMT because they truly believe I am Lucifer and the fifth priest in the Nassau County supported that platform of occult belief.